Hello viewers! Today we're going to be playing Drunk on Nectar, which is one of my favorite games of all time. Because as you can tell my username, I really love bugs. This is a very early access game. It's nowhere near complete. But the biggest update, practically of all, is going to be coming early November. And it's going to be great. Like, over here in this game mode, The Life of Animals. You get to go through the life cycle of a monarch butterfly. Well, in the next update, they're going to give the rest of the animals their life cycle, starting with the jumping spider. And I'm excited for this because as a jumping spider, you will hatch and you will have your brothers and sisters and you can actually interact with them. Like, there's a screenshot of a little baby jumping spider asking one of its siblings to help groom. And it is adorable, the, the cutest thing of all time. And I can't wait for it. And after the jumping spider is done, they're gonna do other... Like this one, the carpenter bee. This is not a honey bee, this is a solitary carpenter bee. And in this one, you will basically be making your nest in the trunk of a tree. Because they, they make their nest in wood. And you will be raising your larva and making sure they're well taken care of. It's so cute. And as a ladybird, you will start as a carnivorous larva. You will be running around, eating pretty much anything you can get your grubby little claws on. Most likely you will be restricted to eating mealybugs like the adult. And the best one of all is the dragonfly. Now, anyone who knows dragonflies know that they start their lives as aquatic animals. And for this particular life cycle, they will actually make a freshwater ecosystem to accommodate the dragonfly. And it'll be a whole new part of the game. Like, it's insane. It's probably gonna be take a long time to get to the dragonfly because it's the last one on their list. But they'll they'll get there. And then supposedly after that they'll start working on adding new creatures. I got my fingers crossed for the assassin bug, that one's my favorite. And while we're on the topic of life cycles, Let's start with the baby caterpillar. Now as you can see we started the little egg. This is going to basically be the same for the rest of the animals. And for the monarch butterfly actually, they're going to they're going to make it better by adding what monarchs do, which is you know going out, finding another monarch butterfly, and have babies. And this will be the same for all the other animals, like the upcoming jumping spider. You will have to, when you're a grown-up jumping spider, you will be able to find another jumping spider of the opposite sex. I'm assuming you're going to be automatically a female, but it would be awesome if you can choose your gender, and the roles will be different there. But you will find another jumping spider and you actually have to go through the courtship which in jumping spiders is typically dances so you basically work to woo your mate and anybody who knows jumping spiders if you don't do good your mate will try to eat you and if you succeed you get to have little jumping spider babies of your own trying to eat as fast as I can because my siblings are greedy. Shedding. I have to beat them, man. I have to eat more than them. Which direction is the stalk? Okay. Because when this leaf becomes inedible, I'd rather be as close as possible to the stem. To the stalk. So I can beat the others. To the next leaf. Oh. oh, that looks like a dragonfly. Yeah, that's a dragonfly. Thankfully, as a monarch butterfly caterpillar, you eat the milkweed plant. And the milkweed plant is very poisonous. And by extension, by you eating it, you yourself, as the insect, becomes poisonous and inedible. 
so predators like this dragonfly, who is totally not stalking us right now, they can't eat you. They cannot. They simply cannot. So you're perfectly safe. So the life of a monarch. Oh, there we go. My greedy siblings ate it all. Luckily, I'm all the way over here, so I get the first leap. Anyway, where was I? Yeah, as a monarch butterfly caterpillar, you pretty much have nothing to worry about right now. Or ever, because in the game there's no carnivores that can eat you. Now the others would be different, because unlike the monarch butterfly, you will be perfectly edible to the other carnivores. So on top of doing whatever it is you have to do, whether it's hunting or eating plants like this, you have to avoid getting eaten by the other by the other insects. Notice how the bigger I am, the more food I take into my giant mouth. Hey, hey, hey! This this is my leaf. Go away, guys. Hopefully there's a way to interact with your siblings as a monarch butterfly too. Like, if you can push them off your leaf and tell them to go away, that'd be great. Hey. Oh my god, look how, look how tiny it is now! You're so cute! I want to kill you! This is my last instar, so I'll be pupating soon. Oh, you're so tiny! To think I used to be like you. If I was a carnivorous caterpillar, I would totally eat you guys right now. Alright, let's go find another leaf before the others get to it. Gotta be upside down for this. Make a little silk pad. And now we turn into a chrysalis. How come that thing is a butterfly before me? That's not fair. I love this montage. Just watching the seasons go by. For being so early in its development, this game is actually very, quite beautiful. so pretty. Look at that, they actually have that little detail where when a monarch butterfly emerges, the, the fluids that it pumps into its wings is stored in its abdomen. So when it emerges, it has a really fat abdomen. And as you pump fluid into your wings, the abdomen gets smaller. And they actually have that little detail in this game. It's quite nice. And now we just fly around and do some hijinks and move on to other creatures. And I'll explain how to go about their separate gameplay. Hello and we are back with the monarch butterfly. And I'll pretty much be explaining what you pretty much do as a monarch butterfly. Which is basically just land on flowers and drink nectar. 
I can see where the nectar is on this. Oh, there it is. This is the completion of the monarch butterfly gameplay. You pretty much go on flowers and you drink the nectar. You actually lose food very fast, so... Oop, looks like we have to groom ourselves. When you scroll in and out, it actually blurs like it's on a photographer's camera trying to get into focus. There it is. And pretty much the the Viceroy butterfly and the carpenter bee are basically the same thing. Flying flower to flower and drinking nectar. Except unlike the monarch butterfly, you will have hordes of dragonflies chasing after you, trying to kill you. And of course the jumping spiders climbing up onto the flowers to also kill you. And speaking of the dragonfly, we should... Wow, this part of the flower has like a ton of nectar on it. My butterfly is very happy. This should be a thing. Forever. I love this. Oh, never mind. I'm too lazy to go all the way over there. Instead, I'm gonna respawn as a dragonfly. How are you doing? And now we are a dragonfly, which is, personally to me, perhaps the most, the easiest insect to play in this entire game. It is the apex carnivore. Pretty much nothing can touch you, not even the jumping spiders. In fact, you eat their faces. Let's... Ha! Ah, <laughs> thought it can get away. <laughs> it tried to fly away. Ooh, this one's a feisty one. Oh, there we go. She went down. Let's go land somewhere so I can munch. She's got some fight left, and... Yums. But yeah, the dragonfly is like... practically OP. If there is an aisle version, like an aisle-esque mode for this game, like multiplayer where all the bugs you see are other players, the dragonfly would be the T-Rex of this game. Because they they rule everything. And I imagine there will be huge swarms of them. Like everywhere. Let's groom ourselves. They are cute though. Just look at that little face certainly not the face of a serial killing bug. Just so you know. <laughs> Alright. See if we can hunt some more. Ah, here we go. We I can demonstrate what I'm talking about with the monarch butterfly. Now you see this blue over here is the monarch butterfly pressing space to hover. And you see right there it says it is poisonous so you can't touch it, you can't eat it, you can't do anything with it. And the other one is a butterfly mimic. Let me land so I can groom myself so I can find one easier. Alright. Well, let's see if I can find one. Oh, get away from there. Got a lot of monarchs in this area. Oh, here we go. Did the other... There we go. Wait. That's not... The Viceroy. Oh, it's the... It's the ants taking care of the mealybugs. You can actually play the- wait. Can I eat the mealybugs? Oh my god, can I? 
Oh my god, I can! <laughs> Oh my god, I can eat the mealy bugs and the ants can't do anything about it because I can fly. That is amazing. I love this game. But we really should find, try to find a viceroy. Okay, we see ants. I think the pink is the B. Yeah, it's the B. I wonder where all the viceroys went. Did the other dragonflies eat them all? There's a Viceroy right there. Spazzing out because the other dragonflies are trying to kill it. You should totally take it down. Oh, the other dragonfly got it. Don't you dare. I want it. I want it. I want it. as you can see the other dragonfly got the viceroy and this thing is a mimic so it's perfectly safe to eat if you can catch it I'm gonna get it I'm gonna get it I'm gonna get it ah hell I need to groom myself Damn, those dragonflies won't leave that one butterfly alone! <laughs> There's like a whole swarm of them after it! Oh my god! I want it, I want it! Why is this one viceroy so hard to get? I think the other dragonflies got him. Oh, never mind. He's still going. God. Wow. Come here. Stop spazzing out and land on the flower. <laughs> oh, I almost had him. I almost had him. He was in my sights. This is actually the most difficult. Ooh, is this a jumping spider? I thought I saw... Yep, that's a jumping spider. D e. Yep. Sorry, man. This is even better than that butterfly. <laughs> this just goes to show that the spiders are not the top carnivores here. You really are the apex predator and there's nothing that anybody can do about it and with that let's go on to the next one because we won for them dragonfly and kudos to that one little butterfly who is just getting swarmed by all of those dragonflies it actually lived I give those that thing its credit it's amazing let's move on to the others this monarch and I are best friends. <laughs> this is so cute! <laughs> let's take a let's check out that. the ladybird next. Let's turn on our chemo receptors. See if there's anyone around. 
does it look like? Now the ladybird is different in which it seems to only be able to eat the mealy bugs. And you can only fly temporarily as long as you have stamina. Okay, calm down your wings, buddy. Let's see here. The, the mealy bugs is somewhere on this stock. Neutral. Hello. What you doing? Where's your brothers and sisters? Because I have a feeling that if I try to pounce here, it's not going to do anything. Somebody else beat me to it. Yep, and there it is. What's up? How you doing? Just so you know, the mealy bugs are mine. Okay, you have fun with that. I believe I'm inedible to them because ladybirds are actually quite disgusting. They taste nasty and that's why they're so colorful to warn other predators that they're not really good to eat. One over here. Now normally these mealy bugs would be protected by ants. Unfortunately, these for these mealybugs, there doesn't seem to be any ants here to protect them. And unfortunately for me, it seems I ate them all. Oh, I see the ants. Have any other mealy bugs you want to show me? Nope, doesn't look like. Alright, let's move on. So that's basically Ladybird gameplay. You can only eat the mealy bugs and fight off the ants that protects them. I apologize to some of my viewers who may have arachnophobia, but now we are my favorite. And to my pleasure, I have spawned as a male, which is distinguished by being black and white. The female is orange. And usually you spawn in as a female, more often than not. But this time I'm male. It's quite a pleasant surprise for me. Ooh, 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 ooh. I see green pheromones. Are those mealy bugs? they're melee bugs, I'm pretty sure they are. Or they can be other jumping spiders. Just shake up. Oh, yep, they're melee bugs. Hello, gorgeous. How are you doing? You're doing great? Awesome. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna eat your insides. While your friend watches. Hello. a bit. The 
better not be a dragonfly here because dragonflies will eat you as a jumping spider. Oh, this leaf is in the way. All these poor things are without their ant guardians. all of them. be my first legit victim. Ooh, looks like there's gonna be another one over there. I'm not sure if I can make that jump, but I'll see if I can. Let him finish eating. Alright, let's see. Yes, I can. Awesome. And this should get me until the end of the spring day. is good. And even better, haven't met with a single dragonfly that can ruin everything for me. Let's groom ourselves. I used to be able to carry those things around. Let's see where we can go next from here. There's a dragonfly over there. The red is a dragonfly. the gameplay. There's still the Viceroy Butterfly and the Bee, but it's pretty much the same as the Monarch Butterfly. You just have to worry about dragonflies chasing you everywhere. Especially the Bee. Whenever I play, it always looks like the Bee is being harassed by a swarm of dragonflies chasing after it. Alright, so this should be the end of this video. I can't wait until the update. On early November, he predicts. And... I'm going to be sure to make a video on that too. Until next time, thanks for watching. <laughs>